although most of the layers and functionality of iHunter will work offline when there is no cellular service available. There are some layers that need to be cached. The word cached essentially means to download for offline use. iHunter has two main types of layers, base maps and map layers. Base maps are the maps that you see below all of the other layers and are typically satellite, road, hybrid, or sometimes topographic maps. Map layers are any other map layer that sits over top of the base map. By default, most map layers are pre-cached and built into the iHunter app. Whereas none of the base maps are and will need to be cached for offline use. To cache a base map for offline use, first open the base maps menu by tapping the bottom most of the bottom left hand buttons in your map view. Here you'll see a list of base maps to choose from. You will notice the Apple and Google base maps indicate that they cannot be cached. Just note that these can't be manually cached, however they will automatically as you zoom and pan will you have cellular service. The issue is that the iHunter app has no way to ask Apple or Google to download or cache a selected area and the app has no control over when your phone will clear that cache. For that reason we don't recommend relying on these maps for offline use. Below those maps you will see a list of other base maps most of which will be cacheable for offline use. To cache one of these maps, select it by tapping on it, then tap the settings button for that map. This will bring you to the manage map menu where you will see your current cache settings including how much is cached and a very rough estimate of how much space it would take to cache this base map for the entire province. Tapping on the add region to cache button allows you to select a region to download for offline use. The clear cache button will allow you to clear your caches at any time if you want to free up space on your device. In this cache view you will see a few options. In the top left hand corner you will see the back button. Tap this to cancel the caching and go back to the map view. In the bottom left you will see the cache selector button. When this is active you will be able to draw a square or rectangle on the map to select a region to cache. In the bottom right is the pan and zoom button which allows you to pan and zoom around the map. At the bottom you'll notice a slider indicating what zoom level you would like to cache to. In most cases you will want to cache to zoom level 16 or 17 which is a high zoom level so you can view the highest resolution of map imagery as you zoom in. Just note that the higher the zoom level the more imagery needs to be downloaded and the download size will be larger. One thing to note is that there is a limit on how much you can cache at once. This limits excessive load on the map providers and prevents you from inadvertently filling up your entire phone. In the top right corner is the green check mark. Tapping this will start caching the area that you've selected. When the bottom indicator displays that the download is complete the map region will now be usable offline. Now that you know how to cache a base map we can discuss the map layers. The map layers can be accessed by tapping the uppermost of the bottom left hand buttons in your map view. As I mentioned previously most map layers are already built into the app for offline use and will indicate that they are always available for offline use. However any map layers that say something similar to 0 megabytes cached, as well as any landowner maps that are currently available for Alberta, Manitoba and Saskatchewan will need to be cached for offline use. The process is basically the exact same as for the base maps, tap on the settings button, then tap the add region to cache button. For landowner maps, you would tap on the settings button, then tap on the caching row and you'll be brought to the manage cache screen. That is the end of this iHunter tutorial. Please email us at info at iHunterApp.com if you have any questions.